Hi everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and in this video I'll show you how to set up Keep Alive D inside your Proxmox cluster. So let's begin. Link to the page of Keep Alive D documentation you will find in the description section just below the like button. Let's say you have three nodes inside your Proxmox cluster and node one IP address ending with let's say one to three. You have a local domain, local uh, DNS domain setup, for example proxmox.lan. And if you want to point proxmox.lan to your proxmox cluster, you're only allowed to point to one node. You can't point the same domain to a multiple uh, multiple nodes at the same time. You will, you will get the error basically saying that you cannot use because proxmox.lan is already pointing to IP address. And I can demonstrate that by going to a pie hole and inside the local DNS under DNS records, I will try to enter a new record, pvsandbox, Dot LAN and I'll point to IP address, let's say, uh, let's point to, uh, for example, 80. I'm going to try to point that. Domain already has a custom DNS entry for IPv, IPv4. And that pretty much this kind of style error you will get if you're pointing the domain to more than one IP address. So when you're trying to point a domain to one or more than one IP address. So domain is only allowed to be pointed to one IP address. So how to resolve that? This is where Keep Alive D will come into play and will help you to do that. What you will, what Keep Alive D will do, it will create a virtual IP address somewhere, somewhere uh, between your your Proxmox cluster and your DNS record. So all this, this is going to be a Keep Alive D. So this uh, virtual IP address we will be able to point our local domain into this virtual IP address. And virtual IP address or keep alive D will point this virtual IP address to all my Proxmox nodes in one go in, at the same time. So when I'm trying to access my Proxmox.lan within my local network, or this can this can be not only Proxmox.lan, this can be something like uh, mrp.com slash Proxmox, regardless what kind of domain you have. I will be able to point this domain to a virtual IP address, which Keep Alive D then will point to uh, as many nodes as I will add. And what Keep Alive D will do, it will uh, make sure that I always, the domain will always get resolved, as long as obviously all three nodes in my case will function. If all, obviously all three nodes becomes offline, even Keep Alive D cannot save me uh, from this, and the domain will get basically 404. It will not be resolved. But for example, if my node one crashes my node one just goes offline keep alive d will route this record from node one into node two and he will do that depending on the weight and the weight is in this context is that um it you will be you will assign the weight limit for all the nodes for example the node one will have weight of 200 node two will have weight of 180 and the last one will have 160. So 200 or the highest uh, weight or bigger number from 1 to 200 will be treated as a master and these will be treated as a backups. So that means that if this goes offline, if my node 1 goes offline, uh, the um, Keep Alive D will go to node 2 and if that goes offline and if the first two will go offline, for example, it will go to this one. As soon as a master comes back online, the routing of traffic will go back straight to a master. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set this up in this video. And this all the documentation will explain a bit more into details how everything works. Plus, and the, and the documentation, you'll find a massive list of all the configurations that you can do with a Keep Alive D, starting from a tracking from SMTP configurations. If you want to get an email notification, something goes offline. Let's say master one of the backups goes offline, and a bunch of bunch of more. As you can see, there is a. We just we just skipped somewhere it was a notification. Here you go, notify master and etc. And if I search for example SMTP. There is a SMTP uh, configuration if you want to go and set this up. In my in this video, I'll just will show you a basic setup. All the instructions that I will use in this video will be you will find them in the link in the description that which will take you to my GitHub repository, Galaxy Home Lab, to this page where I presented all the commands that I'm about to run in this video. This are tailored to my use case. Uh, you all you will need only to change your local IP address, virtual IP address, matching your subnet, matching your IP IP range, IP um, styling, um, and th that's basically this is a command that I'll copy and paste uh, off screen. I'll copy off screen and paste into this terminal. So first thing I need to log in to a PVE number one. In this case, it's going to be SSH root and IP address of the first node is 130. 
So I'm logged in into this, make the text a bit bigger like that. Here we go. So let's start copying and pasting the commands. First command, which you, which you need to run on every single node that you want to include into your Keeper Live D virtual network is first of all, update the packages and then install Keeper Live D. If I'll run that, it will update the packages and I already installed Keeper Live D on all the nodes. What you need to do is just run this command on all the nodes inside your in all the nodes of your services that you want to run keep alive d and this is not only for proxmox cluster you can run for example this inside docker swarm if you have a docker swarm setup or kubernetes setup and you have a bunch of workers nodes running in there they all will have a separate different ip address different local ip address so keep alive d will allow you to combine them all into one one virtual network so if you have kubernetes node one two and three pretty much the same configuration applies i'm just going to using the proxmox cluster as an example so let's go back into this and i have keep alive d installed on the node one and like i said you need to install the same thing in every single node you install keep alive d on node one two and three and so on keep going to installing on all of them next what we need to do once keep alive d is installed is to change the keep alive d config file so if i'll go to folder directory etc keep alive d keep alive d.conf.sample it should be sample here file this is a sample file for configurations as you can see it gives you a bit of information how everything can be set up i will copy the configuration from my github repo but you can use this example um, file just to drill a bit more into understanding how keep alive d works so let's go back inside the terminal inside the ssh client and right so i'll go to this file and instead of using sample i will create a blank file keep alive d.conf and in here i will paste this these instructions so what this will do it will create a virtual a virtual network of keep alive d and this specific node in my case is pv1 state is master what that means that this is a master and it needs to be treated as a master and as soon as the master goes down it will go to the next one where priority or like i said the weight is going to be lower than 200. so interface vmbi0 this is the one we need to use as the proxmox using vmbi0 as you can see here if yours is different not vmbi0 but something else you need to make sure that you change that here virtual route id 51 you can put whatever number you want in here i'm just using 51 priority 200 as this uh the highest priority the uh, priority node inside the keep alive d network advert advert int this means every one second the all the backups uh, all the backup one and two in my case is pv2 and three will constantly question if a master is online or not as soon as master goes offline backup this backup pv2 or backup one will take over as weight will be not 200 but let's say 180 or something then you can add authentication i will just leave pass in my secret password you can choose that you can change my secret password into whatever password you want this is just making sure that every single keep alive d node um, that is communicating between each other within this virtual network uh, and virtually um, route id it knows the password and it's not like somebody trying to jump into your keep alive d network and basically compromise it so you enter the password that you want to use here and then i need to specify the virtual ip address virtual ip address needs to be free that means that should be not that is not should be taken by another device inside your local network i know that my local network dhcp server leases ip addresses between 10 and 200 so 222 is should be free but it's not because 222 has already been used by my proxmox cluster my production proxmox cluster so in this video i'm just going to use 202 for example so i'm specifying the virtual ip address which is going to be 202 and pretty much that is it i'm just going to close that by pressing ctrl x y to enter and enter to confirm i will exit from that and i'll jump straight away to pv2 and navigate to the same same location as i was before keep alive d and it's not sample but i want to amend the file and this is right now the pv2 which in my case is going to be backup so as you can see right now this says backup i just copied and pasted the command uh the 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 uh, file or the instructions from my github repo where you will find them and you can use them so in my case right now as you can see this state is changed from master to backup so pv2 i'm instructing that is going to be a the backup interface vmbi0 stays as it is 
router ID 51 stays as it is. Priority is right now 150. So it was 200 on the master, but now I dropped down to 150. And I'm still leaving advertise every one second. The password stays the same. And I just need to go and change this to from 222 to 202 IP address. Press Control X to close, Y to confirm, and enter to exit. Exit from that, and let's go to uh, the last node, which is going to be, in my case, is node 3. So let's navigate to keep alive D, keep alive D, and let's amend this file. By the way, this config file only will available if you install keep alive D correctly. So this is again the next backup, which is PVE free. But right now, from weight or priority of 150 is down to 100. Advertise is one, everything is the same. I just need to go and change virtual IP address from 222 to 202. So close that, accept, and that's it. So right now, every single node already have the um, virtual IP address selected. Everything is okay. So next thing, what I need to do is need to run system, CTL, system CTL, enable. Keep alive D, keep alive D, and I need to go and start. So keep alive D is running on the node 3. I need to go back to node 2, system CTL. Let's actually clear the screen for better to, for you to see. So enable, enable, keep alive D, and instead of enable, I just need to go and press start. And exit that and go to the the last node which is pve1 and again i need to run the same command e enable keep alive d and instead of enable right now i'm going to start i'm going to write start so keep alive d starting so right now we can go and test this i'll open uh, the new tab and type https 192 and the semicolon 600. So right now I'm pointing, I'm trying to access the virtual IP address 202. And if I open this up, it opens up, asks me to log into my Proxmox node or to Proxmox cluster. I think I punched the password incorrectly. Here we go. No, thank you. Goodbye. And that's it. I am accessing the Proxmox cluster using a virtual IP address. So what I can do now, I can go into my uh, PyHole and instead of trying to add this IP address that already exists, I can go and I enter this IP address, which is 202. But again, I'll get the error because PV sandbox already been added. So I need to go here, remove that. And now PV sandbox will go into virtual IP address 202. That's been added. And right now, if I'll try to access the IP address, or it's gonna be PV sandbox, LAN, here we go. As you can see, I have successfully entered or oh, ac accessed the Galaxy cluster or my Proxmox cluster. And this is right now pointed to this virtual IP address, which is by, by default or the way I configured is PBE1 as a master. So I can go right now in my Proxmox uh, main setup and where's my PBE1? I can say that it's right now pause, which basically just lose a connection to internet. In about a second or so, this will lose a connection which I, be, I don't think I will be able to see because I'm still, here you go, this lost the connection. This is still showing that it is online, but if I'll refresh, people like D going and trying to access the uh, the the first node inside keep alive D list, which is master, which is PV1, but it can't. So it directs me to a next one in line, which is PV2. Let's say I will go and stop PV2 from uh, functioning. So PV2 right now goes offline. Let's wait for a second for this to go offline. Here we go, that's offline. So PV2 right now offline. If I'll go to PV3 and refresh, I have these two nodes offline. Let's try to access that by um, the sandbox. Let's refresh. As you can see, they're both offline, but I'm still accessing my Proxmox cluster via my domain because the Keep Alive D is basically doing all this thing, all this magic behind the scenes to making sure that if I'm pointing the domain to IP address, that already that is offline always have a backup to go for this is where all these backup files or backup configuration is required to make sure that keep alive d knows which node to basically ping or to access if the one above it in a in a in a hierarchy structure which one above it doesn't function anymore and this way i have mine setup done which if i'm going to try to go to galaxy dot the mr p dot tech 
is always opening my uh, the Proxmox cluster my main Proxmox cluster because I set up the virtual IP address ending with 222 inside the Cloudflare tunnel which making sure that my Keeper LiveD always pointing or uh, always get always allows the domain to to be resolved so if I go in here keep alive keep alive d.com as you can see there is my master pointing to 222 and that number is being used inside the inside the um cloudflare tunnel so pretty much this, that is it this is what keep alive d will allow you to do it's very simple to configure very simple to set up and it's you can get that running in less than 10 minutes and then point the domain to the virtual ip address and you have a fully functioning domain that is always online as long as all three proxmox nodes are running or as long as all your docker swarm is running as i like mentioned this is not only used for Proxmox cluster. You can use this pretty much with every single service. They have multiple instances to making sure that that service is a high, high, high available. Anyway, thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. All information that I present in this video, you will find in the description below, just below the like button. And while you're done there, please consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.